Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's start with my weigh-in. Um, I'm back up to 180. Guys, I feel like I've been in this like 179 um, range to like 185 for like the past month. Uh, I just can't seem to get below 179 and um, I think it's just because I've been working out my muscles really hard at CrossFit. That's the only thing that has really changed in my um, routine, so I'm guessing that is what's going on. I love lifting heavy weight. I've been getting really into CrossFit. My a friend of mine calls it CrossFit fever. Uh, so I'm, I don't wanna end it, but I think I do need to add some more cardio to my routine. On the days that it's cardio and lifting, you know, instead of adding weights to my bar, I think I will just keep the bar um, without weights and um, basically just try to keep the weight down but do more reps to have it more cardio based like that. And we're gonna see if that makes a different difference on the scale. Um, like I said, I never measured in the beginning. Uh, I wish I would have, I, I guess I still could measure now, but I feel like it's kind of late in the game. Um, I don't know, uh, I guess I could. If the, if the scale doesn't make much movement after I make these changes in my workout, then maybe I will start just measuring myself instead of using the scale. I haven't been logging because I've been working out so much, so that could also be another thing. I do recommend logging. I just get so lazy with it that I don't wanna do it. But when it comes to situations like this, where you feel like you're doing everything right and you're trying to figure out what it is that's not making that scale go down, you're gonna have to do like logging or more workouts. You know, you, you're gonna have to just keep playing with it. You don't wanna give up, right? It's either uh, give up and just get bigger and like lose all the um, progress that you've made or it's, you know, figure out what it is um, that you need to just tweak to make it work, you know? and. That's what I recommend doing because you guys are doing great. You're putting in a lot of work and this is just how it goes. You're gonna have to tweak things all the time, you know, throughout your whole weight loss journey and throughout your whole life, you know? These are just, learning this now through your journey is only gonna help you um, be able to tweak other things in your life, whether it comes to career, family, um, friends, kids. You know, there's always going to be things that you're gonna have to change about your routine to make um, everything work. So, you know, I'm gonna try just kind of lowering my fat um, throughout the day. You know, not using so much butter or oil or cream um, because sometimes I get a little heavy handed with that. Like I was watching some old videos of mine where I just throw in like a ton of butter into something because <laughs> I just don't even measure it. Uh, but you know, that's real life, right? We all just get lazy and we just throw stuff into a pot and mix it together. And so uh, we, we probably should be, I should be more careful of how much fat I'm using, like stuff like that. Pretty much the ultimate goal I think for all of us is to get to that comfort uh, zone of just knowing how you like to eat and what makes you feel good. Um, having like great habits of working out and only eating when you're hungry and or intermittent fasting or um, you know just whatever it is that you really enjoy just kind of keeping that going and not having to like weigh in all the time and um, yeah like <laughs> that's like the ultimate goal right is just just to feel so comfortable with your diet with your activity level and that everything has just become such a habit that you have like a healthy lifestyle and that's just who you are and it's not something you have to like measure or keep track of or log because uh, you've just like mastered it, right? So uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get to that point and I know I will and I know you guys will too. Just don't give up, keep at it and tweak things here and there until you master it. Next weekend is open for a q and A, I I've been wanting to do this for a while because you guys have left me a lot of questions on YouTube and on Instagram and sometimes I just don't get around to answering them and then like more come in and so I wanna go back through them, uh, write down a, a lot of the questions. Some of you have like the same questions and so it'll be perfect to just do an entire q and A video where I go through all those questions with you guys. Today is Sunday so you have today, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Probably get me the question by Wednesday night 
and it doesn't even have to be keto related. Like if you're just curious about something about my life or whatever, you know, like favorite color, I don't know. <laughs> like just ask me anything you want and leave it for me in a comment below this video and um, or on Instagram, you can DM me too, any questions and yeah. That's it. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can use these Miracle Noodle pastas. And I ordered all of these on Amazon. So you can get like a variety pack that comes with fettuccine, the angel hair, and the rice. Um, it's really, they're like these little ball noodles. So they don't really resemble rice, but they just call it that. And I've actually never tried these ones, so. Um, they kind of just remind me of like those little noodles that come in like Italian wedding soup like the little balls So I kind of want to make a soup with it and see how that turns out. Oh, sorry I have the dishwasher going in the background. That's that noise you hear but uh, so here's the three different ways I'm gonna make these noodles um, first I'm gonna use kielbasa in um, two of the recipes and I have my scale here so that way I can give you guys the exact macros so um, here we will just like measure out this plate so that way we can get exactly what the meat is so so 3.2 ounces so the first recipe I'm going to do is um, the rice I'm gonna make like a soup with it using bone broth and maybe a little bit of this uh, better than bouillon uh, I'll chop up this kielbasa here and then I'm also gonna add some spinach and then the second one is going to be kind of like a carbonara. It's, I'm gonna use the angel hair. Uh, so I'll tell you up some spinach. We got bacon bits. And for the sauce, I'm just gonna try using some of this borson cheese. Third one is going to just be like a regular tomato sauce style one. We're gonna use the fettuccine. We got the tomato sauce, a little Parmesan cheese, and that's where the other kibasa comes in. So I'll chop that up and put it in this one. So. Each, every one of them is gonna have spinach. The sauces are gonna be different. We're gonna have tomato sauce, like a creamy sauce, and like a soup sauce. And they're all gonna have a protein. So kielbasa in this one, bacon in this one, and another kielbasa in that one. You could probably use any kind of strainer you want for the angel hair and the fettuccine, but for the rice one, since they're like really tiny pieces, you don't want them to fall out of your strainer. So I'm gonna use one that looks like this. So it says it on the package, but you basically strain the noodles at first to get all of the clear like liquid out. They have like a little bit of a smell, but that's totally normal. It even says it on the package. And then you boil it for a couple minutes just to just get the rest of the liquid off. And that's it. So it's really quick. So I'm just going to strain these. Then you're just going to run some water over it to kind of clean them off. So first I'm going to use one tablespoon of olive oil and this will be for all three dishes. So um, it's easy if you use whatever serving that they give you because then you can just like scan the barcode on to like one of your logging apps, like whichever one you use. They usually all have like a scanning option to make sure we get our fat in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there and that will be plenty to cook the spinach in. And I'm going to use this one cup measure. So let's see, just to make it so I can figure out what to do macros on, I'm gonna make like a cup of raw spinach. I'm gonna do one cup of spinach for each pasta dish. So there'll be three cups total in here. soup base and we're gonna go with one cup so for the measurement on the better than bouillon I'm gonna go ahead and go with the one teaspoon all right so we're gonna get the pastas in these dishes here so they're ready to go that is our angel hair. Go ahead and cook these um, kibasas in the microwave. They're actually, they come already pre-cooked. So I'm just gonna heat them up a little bit. Okay, so our spinach is done. So I'm gonna take two servings and just put them with the other dishes. We have one here. 
then one is gonna go into the soup. This one, we are gonna mix up with some bacon and the boris and cheese. And I think I'll go ahead and go with one fourth cup. All right, so we got our bacon in there. The serving size on the boris and cheese is two tablespoons. So I think I'm just gonna go with one tablespoon like that. I am wondering if I wanna add just a touch of cream to that. I think I will. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the same tablespoon I used for the cheese, and we're just gonna add the heavy cream to that. Just one tablespoon, I think that'll do the trick. I'm just gonna let that heat up a little bit. Here's the tomato sauce I'm using. I just found it at Costco. I really like the Rouse tomato sauce, but my Costco didn't have it. And uh, so you just wanna find one where the carbs aren't too high and the sugars aren't too high. So here is seven minus two, so that comes about five grams of carbs, and this is for a half a cup. I'm gonna pour that right on. There. This is coming from my fridge. Um, I'm gonna eat this pasta later, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this sauce, even though it is cold. Now I'm just gonna cut up the sausages. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese on the tomato sauce one. All right, so let's do a little taste test. I'm not gonna taste test this one because it's just a tomato sauce. I've made it um, a bunch of times before, you know, just comes from the jar. So, we'll push that aside. But these two, I'm super interested in. They just look so delicious. I'm gonna start with the take on Italian wedding soup. These little noodles are so cool. Mm. Oh wow. It tastes really good. I love the broth. The better than bouillon is good. It gives it a lot of flavor. It's not too salty at all. In fact, I could probably add a little bit more. Hmm. Especially if it's like cold where you live. I'm in South Florida, so. It's like never cold, but this would be an awesome meal if it was a little chilly out. Super, super good. All right, let's try this, my take on carbonara pasta. That looks super yummy as well. So here we go. Got a little bit of everything on here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so good, like no joke. It really tastes like carbonara pasta. I mean, I'm sure restaurants make it all different, but from what I remember of it, it tastes just like this. Now it's not as creamy as maybe the pasta at the restaurant's gonna be, but you could add like a little bit more cream or boris and cheese to this. But oh man, the flavor is just outrageous. It's so, so good. Ugh. All right guys, so here's all the macros for all three dishes. As you can see, the tomato sauce one has the highest net carbs, and that's because you have to be careful of that tomato sauce. So like I said, always check the sugar, get the lowest sugar that you can find. Um, it's probably gonna be better to just make your own, but it's definitely doable. You can use the ones in the jars, find a low sugar one, and, um, and if you're gonna make that with your pasta, you're gonna wanna eat that as probably your meal, because it's already gonna put you at 10 net carbs with 410 calories. Um, but the other two, you could definitely use as more of a snack. They are a lot lower in carbs. You can see the carbonara one is only two grams net carbs. And then the Italian wedding is gonna run you about six grams. And that's because the bone broth has carbs, uh, maybe one or two grams, and then so does the better than bouillon. So um, as you can see, you know, the, it just depends on what you want to add to it, what sauces you want to use, maybe what type of meat you want to use. If you used like a chicken, you know, obviously that would lower um, your calories a lot. So uh, you can play around with it. The lightest thing about the whole meal is the noodle itself. And um, I think the noodles come out to one gram of net carb. 
So you can definitely just have like butter and garlic and a little Parmesan cheese on your noodles and not use, you know, any sauce if you didn't want to. Um, so play around with it, check out the macros, see if they fit for you. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.